The Brian Gould Show features content from the internet and current events throughout the world. All photos, videos, names, and other content is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't fall asleep. It's rude. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to the newest edition of the Brian Gould Show, episode number 45. That guy, unfortunately, did not live up to the hype and did not clear all those chairs, and he also didn't live up to the stereotype of being able to clear all those chairs. Black men can jump, huh? I've watched hundreds of fail videos, and uh, it seems that Every so often you, you get the, the one kid or one, one adult that's trying to clear four, five, six, seven chairs. And it's just ridiculous that the length that they're attempting next to a swimming pool or in a school. It seems like it's usually in a school for, or some type of gathering area for some reason. It's weird. But uh, it, and it's a fail. You always land on the last one or second to last one. Reminds me of this uh, lady that I used to go to church with way back when I was a kid at uh, First Assembly of God Church in Alpena, Michigan. That's where I was raised. And her name was Janet. And she owns the Guinness Book of World Record for the longest barrel jump. And I'm unprepared. I don't have how many barrels. Uh, I want to say they were... Man, she was speed skating. She did it on ice skates, nonetheless. I, it's, it's amazing what the number was. 11, 12, 13... And she was in the Guinness Book of World Records, and I remember uh, a buddy of mine actually had th that edition, and it showed a picture of her with her name and her uh, jumping over the barrels and got her autograph, but I I'm pretty sure that that record's been beat. Actually, I'm, I vaguely remember hearing that it did get beat many years ago, so uh, if you're in the mood to jump over a bunch of chairs, because of uh, a drunken state or that all of a sudden you think you're the next Michael Jordan of jumping chairs, uh, definitely record it and put it on the internet so that we can all laugh at you. It's been an interesting last couple weeks. Uh, Thanksgiving's come and gone and now we're peeking at Christmas. Uh, my youngest daughter just celebrated her sixth birthday and I just celebrated a birthday of my own. And uh, that's been pretty much it. Not a lot going on. I've been keeping busy with uh, extracurricular activities. For those of you that know me, you know what I'm doing from day-to-day -day basis. And for those of you that don't, well, why don't you check me out on Facebook or Twitter and or Instagram, and you can see what I'm doing. Follow me there. Uh, is it exciting? Maybe not to you. Is it entertaining? Yeah, it, it definitely is. I, I've got some pretty good stuff that I put up there, so definitely check it out. And I've got some really good newsworthy stuff as well that uh, I come across throughout the day and throughout the week and post everything up. So the latest news now is uh, the handful of Trump haters, and I'm not going to get all political Trump because I know people don't like that, but uh, there's some really bad stuff going on out there. Uh, the CIA is investigating whether the Russians help slant the uh, election and the results and all this other... Guys, let it go. It's done. It's over. He'll be sworn in soon and let him just do what he needs to do and make this country great again. I just tweeted out um, a little while ago about... Um, the series Making a Murderer. It's on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, definitely go watch it. It's an excellent, excellent documentary on an individual by the name of Stephen Avery and his nephew Brendan uh, getting framed for murder. He gets framed for murder, does prison time, and come to find out X amount of years the first time he was sentenced, he was sentenced incorrectly and then gets framed a second time, sees the same judge, and gets put away again. I'll leave it at that, but it is an amazing, I believe it's a five-part or six-part series. 
uh, an hour long each episode. Well, now uh, there's 26 updates that I just posted since the debut of that series. And uh, I mean, this went all the way up top to even Obama. Uh, the White House was petitioned. He needed a, at least 100,000 signatures on this petition. It got through. And Obama, President Obama, couldn't pardon it because the hearing and case was held at state level and not national level. So not even the president can get this wrongful accused guy out of prison. But a lot of stuff shaken down. We might see that change eventually with him getting out. But Wisconsin's got a death lock on this guy for a murder that he. I, I personally don't feel he did. Uh, definitely accused of. He was guilty before tried. I mean, it just uh, one of those cases. And again, if you haven't seen it, watch it. I'm going to watch the series a second time myself because I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I missed. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, I'll pick up on stuff that I didn't before. That, that usually happens. Uh, the new Fast 8 trailer just came out over the weekend. Uh, if you haven't seen it, that's pretty cool. Check it out on YouTube. You can... Uh, wow. <laughs> the Rock and Vin Diesel, real life fight, The Rock would kick his ass. Rock's my boy. Everybody knows that. But this... Uh, at, yeah, I, it's a spoiler. If you haven't seen the trailer, here you go. Vin Diesel turns on the whole group. And it... Just based on the trailer, it looks like it's going to be really, really good. I, I, I'll definitely check it out. I'm a fan of the franchise. It, it's pretty cool to see how it how it's evolved over the years from the uh, the cars being the main focus and uh, street racing to more of a crime uh, action, not really thriller, but uh, on the edge of your seat type of franchise and series and the additions they've made over the years with Ludacris, Tyrese, The Rock, uh, you know, little plugins with Ronda Rousey and and uh, uh, Carino being in there, it, and you know they've held they've held pretty tight to their core uh, morals and direction of the franchise, but they've done an excellent job adding on to it, and especially you know this will be the. the in technical technicality, the second movie without Paul Walker in it, because you know he was only only certain parts were cut and and uh, put together with him in it for the last one, and then his brother did a bulk of his work. But uh, Fast Eight trailer, go find it on YouTube. Definitely worth watching. And again, like I said, I can't wait for that to come out because I will go see that. The Christmas holiday is amongst us now, guys. Every year, uh, we're scrambling last minute trying to get gifts for people and buy stuff for people. And some of you are smart and do it ahead of time. I'm not one of those guys. I'm actually going to buy all my stuff online and just have it drop shipped, ready to go, and call it a day. And um, my kids are going to be taken care of, and a couple close friends of mine that will get a gift or two, maybe a gag gift or just because, whatever. But uh, I'm, I'm not a big advocate for holidays. All my close friends know that I should have been born green and not brown. But um, call me the, the brown Grinch. I, 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 it drives me nuts that it takes a, uh, a specific holiday like Thanksgiving for all of us to sit down and have a meal together or Christmas to spend a bunch of money that we realistically can't afford and spend it on each other in, in the form of gifts. We've got birthdays. There's just because, you know, if you're thinking of somebody, buy them a gift, I guess. I mean, does it really have to have a, a holiday or a reason for you to go out and spend a bunch of money that you probably would rather keep in your pocket? I mean, that's... Uh, Everyone's different. That's up to, you know, that's at your own discretion. You know, my, myself, again, I should have been born green uh, to go dump the hundreds of bucks. I mean, on average, I, I heard the other day that uh, this Christmas season, we're going to spend $600 on average. 
uh, some less and some a lot more this Christmas season for, for the people that are around us. Uh, I have four little ones, so that $600 got eclipsed pretty darn quick. Of course, I'll have a little help with that, but um, it's be smart about it. You don't have to have the latest tech toys. Uh, you know, the kids want that stuff, and then it's, of course, marked down and priced at a teaser price for you to buy it now. Uh, if you jumped on some of that stuff Black Friday or or Cyber Sunday or Monday, whatever, you know, that's fine. Every time you buy the new iPhone, there's a new iPhone coming out behind it, so don't worry about that. The tablets have come down tremendously in price. Uh, game consoles and systems are holding pretty tight right at about the three to $400 mark. Uh, you know, it... The, the little hoverboards that were popular, I don't know if that's such a big thing now, especially with a lot of the batteries being bad and, and some of them. Cell phones are always a big one. Uh, my kids, my oldest kids, they, they just want gift cards and money. Perfect. That is X amount of presents that I don't have to wrap. I can put it in a little gift bag and say, there you go, have at her. Now my little ones, of course, they like shredding the presents apart and uh, seeing what they're getting, so I won't take that away from them, but I'm just not a big holiday fan. It's it's nothing uh, nothing for me to get all super excited over anymore. I guess you just, it's kind of like uh, going to the rodeo, you know. <laughs> you, you've done it so many times for so many years, it's it's just another day and I, that's where I'm at with it and and other personal reasons too Christmas wasn't always super special to me growing up you know when it was just me and mom that time there was the best time opening up some of the presents and then having to bounce around to this place or that place and open and it, it, there was other stuff that went hand in hand with that that made me feel that uh, Santa Claus should not visit certain people anymore. <laughs> so be safe this holiday season for sure. Uh, it's amongst us. It's not very far away. Only two weeks away. I can't believe it. I can't believe this year's almost over. Um, last year I did my end of the year year in review show episode and I bombed it terribly because I was all over. The I, I wrote and typed so much stuff stuff and screwed it up so this year i promise you will be much shorter uh just great highlights and of course recognizing all the the famous celebrities and important people from around the world that we lost there was a few there's a few right out the gate in the beginning of the year and um it's seemed like it slowed down a little bit uh s some of you guys signed up for my celebrity death pool yes it's morbid but it's fun to play if that's contradictory of itself uh, excuse me but um if you haven't played my celebrity death pool uh the new the new uh pool will kick out uh towards the beginning of january i'll speak about that probably not the next episode but maybe the first of the year and if you guys want to jump in it's only 10 bucks winner winner takes all um second place yeah, it, it's tiered. It depends on how many people play. If ten people play, that's a hundred bucks. Uh, first place will take, uh, you know, eighty bucks. Second place will at least double their money. But it's it's a cool concept. Uh, and like I said, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, one thing I do want to bring up is, uh, you know, I've got my website BrianGoldShow.com, and I guess I'm kind of doing a, a pre New Year's resolution now. What I want to do for you guys that are listening. We all have opinions, we all have thoughts, we all have uh, things that we do that uh, you may or may not want to voice on a, on a bigger level. Well, for those of you that do want to, I want to expand my YouTube channel and my website so that you're able to do it. In other words, I, w I would like for any of you that listen, or if you know of anyone that would be interested in doing this, uh, to basically join on with me have your own channel have your own uh 20 minute 30 minute uh, whatever it is you want to talk about if you want to talk about cooking sports entertainment cards gambling 
uh, whatever, whatever of interest, stocks, gardening, I don't care. Uh, I want to create, I guess, more or less like a small family, like a small network or uh, internet radio station, so to speak, and and put it together and really uh, drive your thoughts and opinions and your expertise out there and, and build something. So if, uh, if it's something of interest, you know, message me, text me, uh, let me know, and we'll, uh, we'll put it together and add you on and uh, build a, a small network and see where we can go f- with it. My goal is to, it, at least in the first three, four months, the first quarter of 2017, at least have two new people. Um, to, to get this going and just create a network, a, a, a radio network, a YouTube network, I guess, more or less, and um, and just go from there. So if it's something that you're interested in, like I said, hit me up. Uh, we'll, we'll tie into my website. We'll expand off my YouTube channel, and uh, we'll work the rest out off air. And then, uh, you know, if you want to do it weekly, bi-weekly, every other day you know we'll, we'll figure that out when when that comes uh but definitely if you're interested please hit me up and uh and we'll go from there end of the month my michigan wolverines travel to miami to play the uh florida state seminoles at the orange bowl uh, got my tickets got my wrestlemania tickets too got my uh my michigan tickets for my birthday wrestlemania tickets courtesy of uh joe He's not with me today, obviously, otherwise he'd be chiming in. Me and him uh, got our tickets comped because we got it like that. But uh, me and him are going to WrestleMania in Orlando next year. Uh, the I believe the uh, NFL Pro Bowl is going to be in Orlando. I might actually go check that out just to say that I went to one. Granted, you don't get everybody that uh, uh, got voted in because people turn it away because of the playoffs or they just don't want to go, whatever. But... Just to be able to go to an all a football all star game, more or less, that's that's going to be kind of cool. And if any of you guys that are listening local want to tag along and, and go, let me know. Uh, love to get a small group and uh, go for go right after that. Uh, but just going to keep it simple today. Uh, just my my food, I guess uh, thoughts. <laughs> Food, thoughts, thoughts, food, whatever, however you want to dissect that. Um, I don't want to get into sports because I know it's a turnoff, but, you know, Michigan Wolverines, they're, they're playing Florida State. Uh, real quick, Lane Kiffin accepted a job at Florida Atlantic as the new head coach. The Cowgirls finally lost their second game, coincidentally, to the New York Giants again. And uh, college basketball's tipped off. Hockey's hot and heavy right now. I'm a big hockey guy. But uh, uh, for those of you that like the sports part, um, I need a sports person to do sports with. I won't do it by myself. Uh, I don't mind doing it by myself. Maybe I will. I take that back. I might do a sports segment by myself to to expand on this YouTube network that I want to work on here. But... If you're interested, hit me up. Definitely let me know. But I'm gonna, I'll always keep the Brian Gould show just kind of newsworthy, sarcastic, funny, the best that I can, and try to do more of these podcasts so that uh, I can keep you guys listening. Uh, viewership and listening goes way down when I've got a few weeks in between podcasts. So I apologize. I will work on that some more. But uh, definitely go to my website, BrianGouldShow.com. Uh, in the next 48 hours, my YouTube, or not YouTube, my eBay store will be full. So you'll be able to go there and check out some cool stuff and have it directly drop shipped right to your home. Uh, some electronics and some other goofy stuff on there. But uh, like I said earlier in the podcast, all the, the stuff you need to know, newsworthy, funny, sarcastic, whatever, uh, I always tweet something out or on Instagram, you know, the Click the like button. Click the follow. Share this with your people. Uh, if you're if you're listening on your phone, which most of you do, uh, top right part of the screen, 
there might even be a little arrow or three dots click on that and then you got an opportunity to share it via text message facebook whatever please put it out there helps me out and uh not only does it help me but it'll help the other people that are jumping on it might maybe you're jumping on to this new little youtube network that i want to do um and there's ways to make money off of it too uh you know how much is up to to you ultimately but again we'll talk about all the details when you're ready to do this so thanks for tuning in guys another uh episode in the books uh, I promise you I'll have a lot more funny stuff and a lot more better content in the next episode. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.